today we're going to be making a Mandalorian. To get started, all we need to do is print some files that we downloaded. You can find the link for the files we're using in this video in the description below. Same stuff we always do, just wash them clean and cure the prints. Here we are, sanding prints. We sand the prints so that the models are smooth and that the primer will stick better. we go, all done. So now I'm washing the excess resin from the sand off. Swish it around, rub it off a little bit, and then just dry everything. Make sure everything is dry before you start putting on the primer. What we're doing here is we're using some blue tack and we're putting them on these alligator clips and then we stick them onto the parts and then put them on these plates. Super speed. And now we're at the primer. So this is the primer that I use. Um, do I do it outside in a well-ventilated area, obviously? After you primer, usually you have to have it at least sit for 15 to 20 minutes. I usually let it sit for a day before I start painting anything else onto it. Step four, after it's done drying, well, what I'm doing here, painting the base coat.
removing all the parts from the sticks. Here's all the parts with the final base coat color. So here is where we hand paint everything, and I'm not the best at hand painting, but I have gotten a little bit better over the years. But. And the good thing about Mandalorians is they're pretty beat up. And I kind of think of them using a lot of trash parts. In this case, I don't even try to paint smoothly. I just slap on some paint, and, and it's okay if they look bad. Unlike what I do with my clone work, which is probably more detailed and more clean. the chest part painting in the center thing that red and then adding some like smudged paint onto the bottom adding the red details onto the shoulder areas Using a silver to highlight some of the edges details on the jetpack. some highlights to the gun, adding silver to the barrel so it looks like it's weathered and chipped. Adding silver highlights, the shoulders look scratched and dented. Some sanding effects to it as well. Now adding some sanding effects to the helmet so it's a little more scraped up. Doing some silver highlights to get some metal look. Just using the finger dab trick here. Adding red detailing to the jetpack. For the red, I have to go over it multiple times to make it look a little better. This is probably the first video where I'm just not going off of a pre-made design. Yeah, 
adding the silver detailing to the wrist area. And then adding some chip damage from dry brushing. This is the butt plate, adding some weathering effects. Weathering the chest now. This paint job is probably one of the unsmoothest paint jobs I've done, and it's purposely done that way. Hopefully it turns out nice. Here we have some Tamiya weathering palettes. We're using this to add some dirt and dust and grime to the front of the belt. some charcoal powder that I made to give it a black dusty type of look. Mandalorians are kind of like trash army of Star Wars. A lot of them just use recycled parts. Here we have uh, the body that we're using for this. But I got it for $15. You can find a link in the description for this. It also is the undersuit that I'm using as well, and also the boots. Let's take out all the pieces we need and get it torn down.
this helmet was actually made for a generic body, but to get it to work with this $15 body. What you are doing is just hot gluing it to the peg. And so what will happen now is if you pull off the head, the neck peg will come with it. Gluing on some shoe plates onto the shoes that came with the body. Or gluing on the hand plates. Now we're gluing on the gun holsters onto the thigh armor. So I'm using this black gaffer tape. I cut off a little section and I use that to hold it in place while I mount it onto the body. You can see I'm using gaffer tape on both sides, but I, I leave one knot on, wrap that around, and then tape it on. And then what I normally do is glue the sections together afterwards. Here we have some Velcro. I cut little squares out. We're using the velcro parts for the chest piece and normally on the other side that I mount to the bodysuit I usually put glue on that as well on the knee. I could have just printed these pieces together. This is the cod piece, mounting that to the belt. Should have done that before I put on the belt. Same thing with the butt plate. So I actually took it off and then I'm remounting the butt plate on. After I tape this, I don't think we're showing this on camera, but you can actually glue these pieces down too, together, so that it's permanent. And now, reassembling that belt.
see the neck peg is actually missing the ball joint because we glued it on and now it's part of the helmet. So you can still remove the helmet at any time and it actually has full mobility. that last head on.